Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Spirit of the North, A Beautiful Adventure Spirit of the North is a 5 hour long puzzle platforming game like the likes of Journey, Eco, or Ryan, where you play as a fox accompanied by a spirit. At first things are pretty straightforward, and this is when Spirit of the North is at its best. It's at first a beautiful linear journey with snow and ice and finding symbols to bring to life to move forward, all while beautiful chill inducing music plays in the background. Spirit of the North starts as a game that feels like hot chocolate on a cold day, and then the second half of the game happens. Spirit of the North becomes more puzzle platforming and less puzzle adventure. Here you'll be activating symbols still, but not so much in a linear fashion, they now act as switches. So you'll be in the same area running around figuring out which switch to throw to move on to the next switch until you're able to leave the area. Sometimes being introduced to a new ability to help you solve new puzzles, such as the ability to leave your body and activate switches out of reach to your solid form. An ability that has potential, but these puzzles prove to be a nuisance thanks to them being tied to a timer, and the switch so far out of reach that you don't have a moment to spare on your way to activating it. Overall, I wish the spirit didn't leave your body when you'd activate a symbol or destroy an object. It would have been a much more enjoyable experience just playing with the mechanics and not having to constantly find a flower to fill your energy from in between every switch press. It all just feels overwhelming in the final stretch, really making me miss those beginning moments when things were simple and it was about enjoying the experience. I would have loved moments like this thrown in between the puzzle solving rather than new puzzle area after new puzzle area. Let me breathe. Thankfully the final two chapters towards the end start to go back to the way that things should be, back to enjoying the environment and music, back to enjoying the beauty that is Spirit of the North. Spirit of the North does have its pacing issues for the second half of this 5 hour long game, but the overall package makes Spirit of the North a must play for adventure and platforming fans. I give Spirit of the North a 7.5 out of 10. If you played Spirit of the North, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful. If you thought that video was good, ha! You should probably watch this video, the very video that's on your screen right now that YouTube hand selected for you out of all my thousands of videos. This is the one that it wants you to watch next. And make sure you're subscribed because I'm not a genius or anything, but I'm pretty sure you get 42 years of bad luck if you made it this far into my video and you're not subscribed. You don't have to subscribe, but I'm just looking out for you. I'm just looking out for your luck and your life.